Ew, get away from me. You're doing it again. You're thinking about people judging you. But the only way to know if you're gross is by talking to them. So here are seven ways to fix your social anxiety. Number one, stop caring about what others think. Part of your awkwardness is low self-esteem. People are going to judge me, or I'm not interesting, or people don't want to hear what I have to say. Take a look around. The world is filled with basic bitches. Holding the same iPhone, driving the same car, fapping to the same corn stars. Barely anyone is special, and those who are nibble on their own hands. Best example of someone who doesn't give a fuck is Jeff Dunham. He's one of the most successful comedians in the world, and the dude plays with puppets. Puppets! Like, how did they not get bullied out of him? <gasps> what if he got bediddled into him? Billy doesn't like to be touched there. Oh, look, it's raining. Point is, don't let some incel who's never done anything with their life dictate how you should live yours. Number two, put down your phone. The attention span of children nowadays is that of a squirrel with Parkinson's. Mindlessly scrolling through TikTok just trying to get that dopamine nut. But when you're on your phone all the time, you miss the world around you. That cougar dropping her wallet on the subway was your opportunity. Too bad you were looking down trying to delete mom's near area pop up. Now listen, I get it. When you're in public, you get nervous and do what brings you comfort. Watching jailbait teens tease everything but a nip on TikTok. But if you want to feel a titty, then you gotta approach a bitty. And sometimes a simple smile or eye contact is all you need. So fight the urge to look down and throw out a smile big enough to get noticed, but small enough not to get maced. Number three, fix your appearance. The quickest way to gain some self-confidence is by altering your appearance. My recommendation is to get jacked. Give anyone that makes fun of your stutter some instant karma. How does it and I know getting ripped is hard work, but there are some shortcuts. All you need is protein powder, self-loathing, and gorilla splooge. How are you gonna get gorilla splooge? Simple. Carefully. <laughs> Number four, fake it till you make it. Instagram thoughts are masters of this. Posting pictures of them looking like a mermaid on a beach, which really looks like a walrus. But even though they're not naturally beautiful, they're still achieving their goal of making preteen girls hate themselves. You see, you don't need to be born with godlike genetics to be successful. So be like Jonathan Majors breaking up that fight and pretend. Pretend you're interesting. Pretend you're charming. Pretend you're not a middle-of-the-road white boy with no discernible talents. Because confidence is just a delusion that you're better than others. And which would you rather live in? A fantasy or reality? Number five, beat your weakness. Right now, I'm taking salsa classes. Why? Because I'm tired of losing to every Walmart greeter on the dance floor. My charisma's at max, but as soon as dancing's involved, I turn into an awkward penguin, just waddling back and forth. So after seeing beta after beta crush me on the dance floor, I decided to get a little help. Which is the biggest issue most of you have. Admitting when you're not good at something and seeking help. No one is perfect. We all have things we can learn from one another. So push aside your fragile ego and start thrusting self-improvement. Number six, know you're the man. The easiest way to start a conversation is just by complimenting someone. A simple, cool jacket or nice kicks or your stomach doesn't even look like you had a miscarriage is a great way to break the ice. You see, compliments are like giving handies to your self-esteem, just spanking away all those negative thoughts. So if you want people to open up, you gotta start by lubing them up. Just keep in mind cultural differences. Like you to bomb is a compliment in America, but an argument in the Middle East. Number seven, learn to laugh at yourself. Having some humility is a good thing. And no one knows this better than the developmentally disabled, or as I like to call them, Pop-Tarts. I made a video a while back called Things You Can't Joke About, and they're always commenting how it's important to laugh at yourself. Which is impressive, because how are they typing when their hand always looks like they're holding a c you see, if they can laugh at themselves, you can too. Because when you do, you take the power away from words. We all know mental warfare is worse than physical, so learning to laugh off any insult is something we can all get better at. Isn't that right, Billy? <laughs> typing. Number eight, stop giving a poop. There is no guarantee there will be a tomorrow. Every day I see people looking down at their phones while driving. I'm like, damn yo, I am one breakup text away from going over this bridge. And having some horned up teen almost send me into another dimension really puts things into perspective. Like what am I doing with my life? Why do I need validation from anyone? Because that's all social anxiety is, caring about the opinions of others. So let's all stop giving a poop. Because if you don't, you're not getting into heaven. So those are my tips on how to fix your social anxiety. If I missed any, please let me know down in the comments. And just remember. Mm, you know what you want to do? Oh, you want to push that subscribe button. Oh, push the button. Push the button.